XLM Stellar Lumens is fooling a lot of people right now into selling it off, thinking that nothing is really going on with the project. It's one of the most innovative pieces of tech in crypto. It has some of the most exciting news coming up about it, which I'm going to share with you in this video. And the price chart itself is looking more and more promising by the day. So do me a favor, hit that like button and let's get into today's video. So if you watched my videos yesterday about what is going on in the crypto space and to basically keep a cool head when everyone else around you is losing theirs, well, then you'll know that it's important right now that we really double down on finding the best projects and those projects we've already identified don't scare us off because of the way they're behaving right now. And what I mean by that, guys, if we look across to the chart, at the top we got Bitcoin, at the bottom we got XLM. Now, Bitcoin has been playing around and making this head and shoulders pattern ever since the middle of March. We're now in the middle of May. So, so for two months, Bitcoin hasn't really done a whole lot. And what that really has meant for everyone else is that after these initial pumps, everything else has just been getting more and more boring. And the problem with crypto and the problem with people in crypto is it makes us very impatient. We know that crypto is a drug and we are just crypto junkies after all. When we get a pump towards the upside, we get that massive dopamine spike. And then we're like, yeah, I want another hit of that. And then we don't get it. We go looking for other stuff like frog coins. And I'll tell you later on where I think XLM could be going and where Bitcoin, I think, is also probably going to go as well. But before I do that, I want to talk about what's going on in the XLM Stellar Lumens ecosystem. Now, it's important that during a bear market, and we are still in a bear market where we are facing potentially more downside action, the crypto projects that we're interested in are constantly evolving and constantly developing. They can do that if they already have a very well established team and they have good funding. XLM definitely ticks those boxes. And that's because it remains one of the oldest blockchain protocols. It's designed to handle a real world problem and that is a peer to peer payment solution. And this is a piece of news that's been floating around for a few months and it's the Soroban upgrade for Stellar Lumens. It's a way to plug a DeFi into a developing ecosystem based around the move towards Web3. So it's not just the peer-to-peer -peer payment solution, but it's also the introduction of a smart contract that is gonna enable developers and innovators to build new applications that will serve both users on Stellar and the broader digital currency ecosystem. Now, as you know, I'm passionate about certain areas of development. Web3 is one, GameFi is another and I identify the areas of growth, and then I want to identify projects that are gonna build and support that, and at the same time, have the power to raise large amounts of funding, because that's where investments really hold the most weight for me. So I'm looking for projects within those ecosystems, and that's why I'm a big fan of XLM. And this is another interesting point under the powering Soroban developer ecosystem. And it's this part, without any form of restrictions or censorship, Developers can harness the Soroban functionalities to create decentralized exchanges, non-fungible tokens or NFTs, protocols, and even oracles, provided it can add to the overall growth and development of the Stellar ecosystem. This is cool because it's basically saying you have unlimited access to being able to use this tech to develop whatever it is that you want to develop, as long as it's actually going to be positively affecting the ecosystem. This is really cool. And this is why I'm loving the development of tech as we go forward because, because there's really no limitations to what people can achieve, only their imagination. And the other day in this quant video, I talked about the move towards CBDCs, which is a centralized bank digital currency. Now, as you're probably aware right now in America, we're seeing a big clampdown on crypto. We're also seeing that clampdown happen in other places across Europe, the UK, etc. And that is a bit of a problem. And another really important point, and this is probably the biggest piece of news. I talked about this in the quant video I made a couple of days ago, that right now we're seeing the world clamping down a bit on crypto. We're seeing big clamp down in the US. We're seeing it happening in Europe, the UK, etc. And this is where quant's coming in and working to implement CBDCs, which are centralized bank digital currencies. And for countries that are not willing to accept full-blown cryptocurrency, such as China, they're already implementing things like the digital yuan. We're gonna see the UK launch the digital pound and the digital dollar is probably not far off either. What's really cool is that XLM is already launching the pilot for experimental central bank digital currency in Brazil. The test for the Brazilian CBDC digital real is taking place on the Stellar blockchain network. So much like Quant, which is also helping to build CBDCs, 
Stella also gets a big tick in this area because it's a necessary piece of tech. Whether I think CBDCs are a good thing or a bad thing, that you ultimately will give governments even more control than they do right now, but they will be removing things like money laundering and other problems from the system. So it could potentially be a good thing, but then also the problems with cross-border payments and all these other issues that are already existing and why we really want cryptocurrency in the first place will still probably exist. Ultimately, countries will do what they want to do, and they will be using these pieces of tech, such as XLM, to be able to implement the tech that they want. Do I want to be on board with companies that are building this tech? Well, yeah, I want to make money, okay? So I want to invest in companies that stand to make good amounts of cash, have a real world utility, and will continue to build towards the upside, and right now, present us with one of the best buying opportunities across crypto. Now, as we jump across to the charts, we already looked at the charts before. I want you to think about something right now. Now we are anticipating in the top, Bitcoin, making a move from this head and shoulders pattern, which you can see I've drawn here uh, at the top, it does look a bit like a dinosaur, uh, but we can see it moving down to realistic price target somewhere around $22,500. Worst case scenario, okay? It could go lower, could go higher. And I talked about in yesterday's videos, the importance of identifying that we don't really know where it's gonna go. We can only make estimations. And if you're wondering whether or not I buy XLM right now, based on the fact that it could go lower, but it could also go higher. You see what I mean? So it's very difficult to work out. All we're identifying is good quality tech that is lower right now than it's been recently. Good opportunity, right? What is very interesting about XLM? Now I'm just gonna close up that Bitcoin window, okay? So we can see just XLM right now. Now I talked about before uh, this area that I was looking to buy in. And you can see that we've broken down through uh, and again with then sitting very static. What's very interesting, right, is Bitcoin has been falling for the last couple of days. And yet XLM has just sat here with pretty much nothing going on. Okay, zero volume going in here, really. Just a bit of up and down. Uh, nothing that's got me very excited at all. Now, does that mean that it's going to go up or down from here? Hard to tell exactly. Like obviously, it depends heavily on Bitcoin. Bitcoin could fake everyone out and be at 35k by Monday, or it could be at 22k by Monday. Now, that gives us a bit of a predicament because actually looking at XLM, we can see that there is a move back towards that top here at 30%. But I do think that maybe XLM could be sliding a little bit lower uh, from where it is right now. So where I would identify the next area of interest for XLM uh, would be somewhere down in this level, which would be about 14% lower than we are at now. Now that's not really massive. And that's because we have already been seeing a bit of a slide towards the downside while Bitcoin and everyone else have been sort of edging around in this area up here. So that's good, right? We've already seen that slide towards the downside. And you're thinking, well, yeah, why has it been sliding towards the downside? Well, guys, because people get bored. We're junkies, right? We don't care about stuff that's not really very exciting. But these pieces of tech will be backed up when we get into a bull market. And when that is, I don't know. Does anyone know? No one really knows, okay? So we do need to identify that right now is sitting in a place where I could be looking to buy. If I'm going to be patient uh, and wait a little bit longer, I might be able to get myself a discount. Am I going to feel sad if I buy now and it drops 15%? Probably not. This still remains true, okay? This cryptocurrency is going places, in my opinion. It's still heavily discounted from where it was in the last bull market. And then we can see going forward that they're innovating a lot. There's lots going on. Yeah, they're in a competitive space. They're working in some very, very interesting areas. So on a personal level, yes, I've been buying XLM in this area up here. Am I going to be buying it right this second? I'm not. I'm going to wait. And if I get down into this area, then I'm going to look to purchase. However, if we do start to see Bitcoin bouncing in this area and trying to fake everyone out, then maybe I'm going to have to FOMO into XLM a little bit and try and pick out more in these prices. But what we can do, guys, as I talked about before, set ourselves an alert down here and then we're good to go. And when we're talking about 15% down here, you know, guys, we're still looking back to these levels to swing highs, right? All the way back up there, you're looking at an 8.5x. Realistically, XLM could be looking towards $3 if things go absolutely crazy in the next bull market. And, you know, people are like, oh, well, it's got this bigger market cap and all this. Guys, I understand these are just speculations. And this is potentially a 31x, which is just crazy, crazy gains. 
But you'll see that happening in pretty much every project in crypto as everyone just floods money into the space and it's getting on. When you see it hit CNBC every day, the Bitcoin's up 10 grand and whatever's going on, that's when everyone's flooding into the market. But we don't want to be flooding into the market then. We want to be doing it now because we're so far ahead of the game. And then we can chill out. And yeah, it's boring. But stop being a degen. Stop chasing those highs, guys. And just wait for these good quality projects to start rallying. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, hit that like button for me. If you're new to the channel and you haven't already and you want daily updates on what I'm buying, what I'm selling every single day, then subscribe. Also, free Telegram link down below, guys. Love to have you over there. See you soon. Bye-bye.